Okay, so we're going to take a look at each of our individual API responses. And the one that we'll start with is the not found. Instead of a toast, we want to redirect them to a, a not found component. And what we'll do is we'll head back to VS Code and inside, let's tidy up these folders, inside the client app, inside the features folder, and inside the errors, we'll create a new file and we'll call it not found.tsx. And we'll keep things pretty simple for this. You can be as flashy as you want with your not found component, but we'll keep ours relatively simple. So we'll import React from React as normal. And then we'll say export default function and call it not found. And we're going to return. And we'll return a segment. And we'll make it a placeholder kind of segment. And we'll give it a header and we'll give the header an icon and we'll add an icon name equal to search and we need to bring in icon from semantic UI react and under this we'll just say oops we've looked everywhere and could not find this and then under this, we'll just add a segment dot inline and we'll add a button which we'll use as a link to get them back to the activity dashboard. So we'll say button as equals link and then we'll specify two equals and then we'll say forward slash activities and we'll make it a primary button and we'll just say return to activities page. So nothing too fancy going on there. And what we'll do, we'll open up our app.tsx. And what we want to do here is add a route that we can redirect someone to if they, or if it's not found. But we want this not found to be used for any kind of bad URL that somebody types in, including if they look for a component that doesn't exist, or we do not have a route inside our app.tsx. So what we'll do to achieve that, we'll specify root and all we'll do is specify a component at the end here and we'll specify our not found component. So anything that doesn't match any of these routes above is going to hit this particular route and it's going to return them the or send them to the not found. So if we go take a look and see for example, well <laughs> we can already see that we've got our not found component displaying on our errors page, which is a bit weird. And why is this? If we go to our activities, we see it here as well. And that's because it matches every route. And in order to get around this, what we need to do is make each of these routes exclusive. So that only one route ever tries to load up at any one time. And the way that we can achieve that with React Router is we can use the switch. And if we surround our routes inside a switch component, then only one of them will be able to be activated at any one time. And if we go back and take a look, what we should find, if we click on errors, then we don't see our not found component. But if we try and go to a bad route, then we get taken to our not found component. So that's good. That's what we're looking for. But how do we redirect somebody to this not found component if we get a 404 back from our API? Now, what we need to do if we go back to our agent file, then in the case of a 404, what we want to do is use the history object to push them to a new URL. But how do we get access to our history object? Because our agent does not have access to this, nor is it a React component where we can use a React hook. So we can't use the history object at the moment. And in order to achieve this, then we're going to need to create the history object in our app to allow us to use it somewhere else in our application. And what I mean by this, if we go to our index.tsx, what we're using at the moment is the browser router. And this automatically provides the history object to our app. And that's why we can use it with our React hooks, and that's why we can use it inside our components. But we want our history object to be usable elsewhere. And the way that we can do that is inside our index.tsx, we can say export const 
history equals, and then we can use the create browser history function, and we get this function from the history package, but we don't have the ability to automatically import this. But what we can do is say import create browser history from, and we can get this from the history package, which comes along with React Router. What we could do then is instead of using browser router, we can use the lower level router instead. And what we can use is we can pass router the required history object and say history equals history. And we need to bring in router from React Router DOM. And we don't need the browser router in here anymore. But what this means is that because we've exported this object, it's the same history object that we pass to React Router. We can use this history object anywhere else in our application, and it doesn't need to be a React component. And if we go back, just let's just make sure we haven't broken anything, and we can still navigate between our components, and this still works fine. But what we can also do now, if we go back to our agent.ts file, then in the case that we get a 404, what we can do is say history, and make sure we import the right one. There's a few different options for history here. We want the one that's coming from our index.tsx. So in this case, it's got this funny looking import of dot dot forward slash dot dot because we don't need to specify index if the file is called index. But then this gives us access to the push method. And then we can simply add a root in. And even though we don't technically have a root for not found, this is going to send them to the not found component in this case. And if we go take a look, and let's just refresh the page again, and click on not found, now we get taken directly to our not found component. It does put not found in the URL, that's absolutely fine. And then we've got the option to return to our activities page, click on the errors, click on not found, that's what we're looking to achieve here. So that handles the not found. What we'll take a look at next is the 400 type of requests for the bad request and the validation error here.